Hey there, this is Darcy with Styled Stock Library, where you will find gorgeous stock photography created just for women entrepreneurs. Head over to styledstocklibrary.com to join our email community and to grab your two free beautiful images. I'm here today to talk about how to create a beautiful Instagram quote image. So as you know, Instagram is in a square shape, so we're going to look at how to create the most crisp and appealing image so that your followers want to click that heart button for you. So here we go. Right here on the top of my menu, I have a social media square template, and it's 800 by 800. That's how I know it's square, just to make sure. If you don't see that there, just click on more and you'll see it straight up here on the top. So click on that and it'll open up into our template, a blank template here. Of course they have these layouts which we've spoke about before. Some are free, some are about a dollar. And you can look at these, they're great and everything, but since we have all these styled stock images, you can simply go over to uploads, upload your favorite stock photo and go from there, just add to it. So I have one on here that I really want to use, and it's this one. The reason I love this one is because it has this blank mug, so we can play around with that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, if you see here, the top has a little shade to it, right here, but on the bottom, it doesn't, it seamlessly goes into our background so no one will know that this is a photo over our template. So what I'm going to do is move it up to the top so the shading is at the top and make it bigger. So all I did was click on this photo. I'm going to drag this corner over. All right. So, you know, pick pick how big you want it. You can always adjust it later. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's say that you have a business where you serve entrepreneurs. So let's look up some entrepreneur quotes. So I'm over here on entrepreneur.com and they have 50 inspirational entrepreneurial quotes, a blog post, which is perfect. And I'm going to look for something that's fairly short because it's Instagram and it's a small image. We want it to stand out. So this Yoda image is short, but that one is really used quite a bit. So let's see what else. This one is short. How about this one? Okay, by Ka Guy Kawasaki. Ideas are easy, implementation is hard. So let's copy all of that and head back over to our template. All right, so I'm going to click on text over here on the left. And let's just click on heading, paste in our quote here. I'm going to drag it and make it big so that we can, it makes it really easy to center our quote if it is all the way spread across the image because then we can just click the down arrow and click center and we are good. Okay, now I'm thinking I'm going to want the his name in script and the quote actually in a serif or a sans serif. So I'm just going to use my quick keys to uh, just cut that out of there. So I used Command X for that on Mac. Now I'm going to add another text box. Now I'm using Command V and that adds in our text. So now there are two different text boxes. In Canva you can't make, you can't have two different fonts in the same text box. So you're just going to have to make two. Another way of doing this is to click on your text box, do the, click on the down arrow, and click copy, and it'll just make another one. And in that case, you would just be able to erase the piece that you, you don't need. Okay, so let's delete that text box. And I'm going to double click here, use my quick key, Command A to select all. And let's change our font. So I'm clicking on the fonts, you see there's a bunch of fonts. Let's do, let's try this one. You can always click on them, see if you like them. I actually do like that one. We got lucky. 
with the first one. So let's just keep that there for now. Our text box is a little off center, so let's drag it. Okay. And I think I'm going to change this script font to, let's see, scrolling around here. Let's look at that one. Uh, that looks that looks pretty masculine, and I think it can pass. So let's try that for now. We might change it up. Okay, so I just moved it over. See how I like it off off center. We can make it bigger or smaller. Let's see if it looks good. A little smaller. Okay, cool. Well, we have this cool cup here. So let's try to add something there. Again, I just clicked another heading. And I think just having maybe an exclamation point on here, as if you had a cup that had a picture of an exclamation point. Let's make it really big. Uh, a little bigger. Okay. Now we want to make sure people know it's an exclamation point on its own. And I think, I think they can tell, don't you? Let's make it a different color, maybe. Let's just do a teal. If you want to look up a color, you don't have one in your palette here already, just click the plus sign and you can play around with it on here. So we'll just click on that. Okay, so since it's on the cup and we want to make sure it looks like it is actually part of the cup and it's not something we added, it helps if you click the down arrow and go to transparency. Click on transparency and just bring it down a bit. That makes it look a little more authentic. Perfect. And of course, if that slant bothers you, you can fix it here or you can just change the change the font. That one's pretty bubbly. Okay. Not my favorite. <laughs> See this one. Wow. Okay, there we go. I think we hit a winner. Perfect. Okay, so this is pretty slapping me in the face here with this dark black. So let's try a dark gray. This is a trick a lot of people use even in their print materials. Just to make it a dark gray instead of a black, it makes it a little softer, but still noticeable little more modern look for you. Okay, and let's change guy's name. Maybe we'll make it that same teal. And we can bring down the transparency if we wanna try that, see how it looks. Bring it down a little bit. I think that's pretty nice. Let's, let's raise our image up a bit. And see how I'm just playing around here? This is what we want you to do. There are so many beautiful stock photos that we have in the library, and we just want you to play around with it. Make them your own. They all can look original to you and your brand. Right here, if my brand colors have teal in them, then right here I just added in my brand look, even if gold, and black aren't part of my brand, adding in that teal that is part of my brand is going to make it authentic to me. And also using the fonts. Use, use fonts that you use maybe on your blog, on your website. Using those specific fonts or ones that are close to that since Canva doesn't yet have that font custom font feature, they soon will. So if you're if you're listening to this when they do have it, uh, you that's great. Add in your own font. Um, as of now, in September of 2015, they don't have that custom font option, but they soon will, so that's fantastic. All right, so that's awesome. That's awesome. Let's go to download. We'll click on PNG. PNGs show up pretty well on the web, and I found them to look really nice on Instagram as well. So it's downloading, it'll pop up, and let's check it out. Make sure it looks fit for Instagram, because if you've seen our videos before, you'll know that sometimes Canva makes text wrap. 
if your text box, box is too close to the font. So it looks perfect. So now it's in my downloads and either you can save it and put it somewhere else on your computer so it's easy to find and then you know drop it into your Dropbox or email it to yourself, open it on your phone and upload it straight to Instagram with a little caption. Don't forget your, your caption there in Instagram. So for this one, ideas are easy, implementation is hard. Maybe you're going to tell a little story in your Instagram caption for this one. Maybe it's something about an idea you had and the struggles you had implementing it. Maybe you're actually launching something and you're saying, hey, I struggled through this, but look at this. I have a beautiful product now for you. I have a beautiful service here for you or course or whatever it may be. And although it was tough to get here, I've created the perfect solution for you. And maybe that's how you'll use this quote. And because this is a beautiful image, it reflects your brand in an awesome way. And if you're not already part of our email community on styledstocklibrary.com, go ahead and sign up and we'll send you some free images. Now go out there and surprise all of your Instagram followers with some beautiful quote inspiration. We will see you very soon.